I want to go over the answers to the Chapter 2 practice test. So, uh, number one, a numerical result is said to have good precision if um, we need to know what precision means. Okay, precision means that measurements are similar to each other. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're close to an accepted value. That's accuracy. So accuracy is if they're close to an accepted value. Precision is if each measurement is close to each other. So the, as, the best answer for number one is B. Okay. A would be accurate. The choice A, that's accuracy. Okay. Uh, it has a small number of significant figures. No. It is a large whole number. No. Uh, two. The number of significant figures in the measurement 2010 centimeters is. Now, remember, zeros at the end of a whole number are placeholder zeros, so they're not significant. But zeros between significant figures are significant. Um, and we know all non-zero numbers are significant. So we know that 2 is significant. We know that 1 is significant. The zero between it is significant. But the last zero is a placeholder, okay? The last zero is a placeholder. So there's only three significant figures in that measurement. Which of these measurements, three, which of these measurements has only non-significant zeros? That means that all the zeros are not significant, okay? Let's go through. Uh, choice A. 0 0.0037 milliliters. Well, we know that zeros that appear before a non-zero number are not significant. So all three of those zeros is not significant. The only significant figures are 3 and 7. So that one has two sig figs and all the zeros are not significant. So choice A is the right answer. Let's make sure by looking at the others and counting the number of sig figs in them. 60.0. Zeros at the end of a number after a decimal are significant. So that means this zero is significant, and the 6 is significant, and zeros between are also significant. So there's three sig figs here. Okay. This zero, if it was 400 without this little decimal point here, then uh, that would be also correct, but because those zeros would not be significant. But by putting the decimal there, you're saying that that uh, you're saying that that one's place is a significant place uh, for this measurement, and so all three are significant. So there's three sig figs here. And in 506, the zero is between two, not, uh, two significant figures, so there's three sig figs here. Okay, so the best answer here is A. Let me write these in. Okay, using number four, using a metric ruler with one millimeter divisions, the sides of a rectangular piece of plywood are measured as 3.54 centimeters and 4.85 centimeters which corresponds to an area of 17.1690 centimeters squared. So that's the calculator answer. Um, remember, so which of these is, is the area correctly expressed? Remember, um, your answer for multiplication, your answer should have the same number of significant figures as the number that you're multiplying that has the fewest. So 3.54 has three significant figures. So count the number of significant figures and the numbers you're multiplying together. 4.85 has three significant figures. So your answer must have three significant figures. Both, that eliminates uh, B and C. Both A and D have three significant figures. 117.1 and 1 is 17.2. So let's look at our answer from the calculator. Um, the number, let me get a green here. Let's get a green. The number 
6 right here is greater than 5, so we're going to round that 17.1 up to 17.2. So the answer is D, 17.2. Okay. When 64.4 is divided by 2.00, the correct number of significant figures in the result is, well, this has, again, division, count the number of significant figures in each of the numbers, and your answer has to have the same number of significant figures as the fewest. So the number of sig figs here is 3. The number of sig figs here is 3 because 0 is at the end of the number after a decimal are significant, and then zeros between significant figures are also significant. So your answer has to have 3, B. The dimensions of a rectangular solid are measured to be 1.27 centimeters, 1.3 centimeters, and 2.5 centimeters. What should the volume be recorded as? Um, again, uh, let's just first say volume is length times width times height equals 1.27 centimeters times 1.3 centimeters times 2.5 centimeters. Now, what ha what that means is the whatever you use to measure that one side that has 1.27 centimeters, that's the hundredth place, that had to be a different measuring instrument than the ones used to measure the other two sides. Okay, that's why that's reported to the hundredth place. It's a more precise measurement. So um, we, have to, um, we, we, we have to report our answer to the number of significant figures because it's multiplication as that it's fewest. So this has three sig figs. That has two. That has two. Our answer has to have two. Punch it in on your calculator. 1.27 times 1.3 times 2.5. You get an answer of 4.1275 centimeters cubed. And then I've got to take that down to two significant digits. It's these two. And then I look at the two, and I say that's less than five. I'm going to keep it down. If it's five or greater, we're going to round up. It's less than five. Um, so we're going to report that as 4.1 centimeters cubed, which is D. And that's the answer. Um, I'm going to make a separate video for the other questions so that you can look at the videos that's uh, relevant to you.